Lower the motorboat. Be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lads. We'll be back to pick you up in three days. I really hope you find your husband there, madam. I hope it too. I'll see you in three days then. But please be careful on that island. You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. Thank you, Captain Hudson. Well, here I am, in the middle of the ocean after traveling across half the world. Just miles away from where my husband is supposed to be. You left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction. The letters kept me close to you, but suddenly they stopped coming. What happened, Opal? What did you find? Whatever it was, it led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. And from there, to this place. An island in the middle of the Pacific that the locals refused to even name. Everything is familiar. So familiar, as impossible as that may sound. Is this the island I dreamed about? This, this can't be a coincidence. idyllic island, surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. Why? There's definitely something strange about this place. if I can find any trace of you around here. I know it's just resonance, but I do love listening to the sea in them. A tent. So somebody was on this island recently. A note written in French. I only understand two words, ill and mort, island and death. It must be a warning about the dangers of the island. A miniature va'a, a Polynesian outrigger canoe. Beautifully crafted too. That's a vivo, a flute that the Polynesians play with their nose. I won't be playing that. Someone has been chopping down palm trees, a lot of them. Maybe to build something. I feel quite good. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than usual. Those markings seem to represent the sea. I'll make a note of them in my journal. It might come in handy.
An offering of mother of pearl, quite valuable for the Polynesians. Looks like it opens from the other side. These wooden figures are called Unu. This seems to be telling a story. Bone fish hook. An offering of mother of pearl. Quite valuable for the Polynesians. It may look peaceful, but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. What a lovely flower offering. From what I've read, the Polynesians don't need doors. So why build such a big one? Well, that did something. Hmm, something's missing here. carved my name in the back of this Unu. This box, CW, those are the initials on the brass key. It opens it. So whoever sent me this key was here. This is starting to look like a scavenger hunt. A carving tool. Well, look what's hidden here. This may be the first time I trespass a private property. My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling thing.
Lady Shannon? That name sounds familiar. I'd better check my journal. Is that... Harry? Harry! You were here! You were here and I found you, damn it! Where are you now? Where is everybody? Where did you and all your crew go? A mechanical bridge? That doesn't fit in with Polynesian traditions either. This reminds me of those slot machines that Harry and I saw at the Atlantic City Pier. The Polynesian version. Oh, it's been years since I took such a long walk. This fresh air is doing me wonders. What a beautiful mountainous landscape. I can feel the air is denser here in this mangrove swamp. This sort of pond is a Polynesian fishing technique. There's another symbol inside it. Now that I've crossed half the world, I wouldn't mind crossing the other half. But I have to do it with you, old pal. rays of sunlight shining through. Another symbol. My, this is so beautiful. <laughs> what were these birds called? Uh, lorikeets. Cole's lorikeets. There are lorikeet feathers scattered around this uni. I'll draw the symbol in my journal. A shortcut. That's convenient.
Harry said that he would go to the end of the world to find a cure. And by the looks of it, he wasn't lying. We promised we'd never lie to each other from the moment we started dating, no matter how harsh the truth. I hit the jackpot. That's my ticket across the river then.